on entrepreneurship and it will be soliloquy because I'm going to be the one who's speaking. Let me first welcome the general evaluator of the day. The general evaluator of the day, like me, was born in Rajkot. She is somebody who has recently become very regular <laughs> in Toastmasters, no pun intended, and is an insurance professional by profession. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the general evaluator of the day, Toastmaster Kinnock. in his book, and I quote over here, the rare people who do become truly exceptional at something do so not because they are exceptional, on the contrary, they become amazing because they are obsessed with improvements. Good afternoon, Toastmasters and my dear friends. evaluate the entire meeting in terms of what went right and how we can improve on certain areas and make it a better experience for all of us next time. In order to assist me with my role, I have a team of three people, which we know as the tag team, who will individually come here and explain their roles. First, let me uh, help me welcome the grammarian of the day. She loves to play outdoor games to activate herself, and she believes in the philosophy of growing together. Please welcome the grammarian, Toastmaster Kritika. Toastmaster Chinna. So I am playing the role of grammarian today. So my role today will be to evaluate the good usages of English and not so good usages of English in your speeches. And uh, I'll be presenting my report at the end of the meeting when called upon stage. We have word of the day and phrase of the day for today. So word of the day is bunkum, which means a nonsense talk. For example, they always talk bunkum about their religion. So this is the use of word of the day. Phrase of the day is off one's rocker. This is used to say that someone is insane or not thinking properly. The usage will be if you think that you are going to win the jackpot this week, you are off your rocker. So, rocker. Yeah, off your rocker. rocker. What is the spelling of monk? B-U-N-C. B -U -N -A -U -N. That's all from my side. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Toastmaster. The second, uh, the second uh, member from my team is the timer of the day. She is a recent joining in HCTC and post joining the club, this is her first role. She is into IT field as a professional. Please help me welcome Toastmaster Suman as the timer of the day. Okay, sorry, it's my first rule. 
Fantastic, you're doing a good job. You're doing a great job. including and well but so you know i will also listen for filler sounds including a uh, um or uh. i will also note when a speaker repeats a word or a phrase such as i i this means this means at the end of the meeting i'll report i will present my report that's it from my side over to you then a little later thank you so much toast master kevin uh, me and my team will come at the end of the meeting to present our report on a lighter way without any further welcome i will hand uh, over yeah. to Thank you, General Evaluator Toastmaster Pilar. I want to ask one question to Toastmaster Suman. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, I'm feeling good today. <laughs> yeah, great. Your friends are shocked. Why ago? I mean, a few days ago, I was watching the movie Sharabi, and there was a very famous dialogue in that movie. Kalakar ko paise ki nahi taliyo ki bhook hoti hai. Ladies and gentlemen. Everybody and anybody who comes over here requests all of you to please applaud because it is not coming. It's easy coming over here, standing in front of twenty eyes, and saying something. So once again, let us give it up for Toastmaster Chinnar and. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've been a wonderful audience. So without much bunker, 
let me start with the theme of the day. The theme of the day is entrepreneurship. What, according to you, means to be an entrepreneur? Anyone? Anyone from the online audience? Starting your own business. Okay. To be your own boss. Be your own boss. The most fundamental pillar of an economy to survive. Oh, we to provide something labor okay. and entrepreneur like the so independence so, so I take the following words out of this independence uh, then management be you this uh, taker uh, okay be your own boss be your own boss that is again independence anybody from the online audience yeah. To problem build. solver. Sorry. Be Sorry. Yeah, it's problem solver. Problem solver. Very good. Any Kewal, Toastmaster Kewal, you were saying something. To build something that will be okay. used by everyone. Okay. So to build. Okay. Be you. Be, be you. you. Be you. Be me. Okay. Okay. Any 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 other input? Opportunity to present yourself a good leader. Leadership. Okay. I heard independence. I heard success. I heard freedom. I heard being a vital part of the economy. Very important. Yes. But what is that one basic thing that an entrepreneur does? Risk, you know, risk, risk, okay. It's a game uh, changer. Yes. Game changer, like contribution to this community and society for sustainable. Uh, innovate. Innovate, ideate. Yeah. Because the basic, the most basic thing that an entrepreneur does is to think about what the basic basic thing that an entrepreneur does is to make money. <laughs> right. At the end of the day, everything that you do, everything that you say, everything that you want to do, you know, your ideas, your innovations, your, uh, you know, freedom, success, independence, everything is related to one basic thing. I know that's a hard truth. And somebody would say that I am of the rock, but yeah. That's the one basic thing that an entrepreneur does. That is to make money. Right? So with the idea of making money, let me start with our first session, which is known as Launchpad. Launchpad is a one to two minute introductory speech given by our members, wherein they come over here. They introduce what they are doing and they introduce how that will help them, of course, apart from making money, because that was anyways going to happen. But apart from that, how is it also helping their society in general? And how has Toastmasters helped them in their own lives? So our today's launchpad speaker is somebody who is the Ronak of our club. He was born in the city of Reliance, that is Jamnagar, and he is a very reliable resource also. <laughs> so without much further ado, let me welcome and let me hand over the Diaz to Toastmaster Ronak. <laughs> Toastmaster Ronak, you have a time of two minutes to introduce your launch. Oh, order it in. I'll come out in 10 minutes. Sure. Uh, thank you so much, Bilwa, for the wonderful introduction. I'm going to do a lot of honkums and some of you might feel that I may be off my rocker, but you're in my I have to say, me and my friend are building something which is called a center stage. The idea starts when every professional that you see, Every musician, every athlete has a platform where he can go up there, do his art, <coughs> sell stuff, right? 
for the most noble profession in the world, which is teaching, creating, building something has no platform. So me and my friend, we sat down and what we're trying to do is build an independent online academy for every single teacher out there in the world. So if you're an active teacher or if you know somebody who's an active teacher, there is a platform which helps build their entire online independent academy, which goes by their own rules. The prices, the convenience, everything is set by you. It's your brand, you set the time, you set the convenience, you set your shop. What we do is give you a set of automation tools, set up your own brand and let you do the talking with your author, right? So that's what Center Stage is about, how Toastmasters actually helped me uh, build this out here because my job uh, in today's time relates to talking and building communities regarding teachers, tutors, trainers, consultants. And being on stage, impromptu speaking, when you are in front of somebody, it's so easy to talk one-on-one, -on -one, but when you are out there, like you said, in front of 20 people, it's very easy to throw out a lot of bunkums, right? So Toastmasters really helped me investment that you're ever going to make in the first six months of your life if you ever feel like you want to have public speaking as your identity this 3600 rupees so six months is the best 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 investment so thank you so much for listening out to me and uh jayesh happiest birthday thank you yes over to you. if any one of you has any questions you are free to ask yeah, sure. You can ask him right now or you can ask him later. You can just visit www.centerstage, center spell that T R E. Yes, please. Um, just eight days back, or let's say around 10 days back, I met another person. He is also venturing into the sea. Okay. In Ahmedabad and covering the entire Gujarat. Wow. That that's... Way, he has already connected with around 800 teachers. That is lovely. Would you know the name of Yes, I know the name and the number. Would you like to? Definitely, definitely. For sure. May I know the name of? Uh, Doshi. Doshi. Am I? I know his wife's name, Simran Doshi. His okay. own name. Uh, so, husband of Simran Doshi. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get back to your husband of Simran Doshi. Thank you so much. Well, any questions you have, I would be happy to answer. Thank you so much. Please okay. visit www.centerstage.live. Center Spedal E R E. Thank you so much. Over okay. to you. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So as I was saying that you know entrepreneurship is all about making money. Now, so how do you make money? A very good example has been given by Toastmaster Ronald. He used the knowledge of what he had. So very simple question or my very simple question to everybody over here is what is that one skill that you have that is marketable? If I am good at cooking, does not mean I will become Sanjeev Kapoor. If I am good at writing, does not mean I will become Robin Sharma or Chetan Bhagat or anybody for that matter. It's just that there is a huge sea of difference between my hobby and my skill. Skill is something that I acquire. Or a sales and marketing professional like me, I am good at selling. And that is something that I have acquired. I may be good in public speaking, but that is something that I was born. That is an inherent talent that I have. Now, either I can develop that talent into skill. Some examples, Sachin Tendulkar, Virat Kohli, Sunil Gavaskar, Sir Donald Bradman, or I can learn and develop that as a skill. Best example, Rahul Dravid. Rahul Dravid, very simple story behind Rahul Dravid was that he was, he wasn't as immensely gifted as a Sehwag or a Tendulkar, but he made more runs than Sehwag. 
and he faced more number of deliveries than Sachin Tendulkar because he made batting his skill. He acquired the skill of batting and he played across the globe on all sorts of wickets and he was successful. That is the basic difference being being talented and being skillful. That one very skill that you have will help you become an entrepreneur. If you're good in speaking, you can be a good salesman. If you're good in writing a code, you can develop an app. If you are good in cooking, you can become master chef. Master chef. I am glad you didn't say Martha Stewart. <laughs> Good husband. Oh, Sorry? Good husband. <laughs> yeah, that's a skill I think doesn't have enough merit. I mean, in terms of banking, everybody thinks that they are good, but they need to ask their wives. <laughs> okay, so that's the idea. The first important step is to identify what is your skill. In our next section, I am going to talk about a few basic pillars as to how should you choose to become an entrepreneur and what is it required to become an entrepreneur. How to decide on what you want to do in terms of your venture and how you can understand the dynamics of the market. So before and today, before we move forward, now today let me introduce the topic of speeches today. Today is a very, very, very special day. Do you know the reason why? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we have a birthday boy. <laughs> but apart from that, after a very, very, very long time in the history of Heritage City Toastmasters Club, we have not one, but Two icebreakers today. So, and very rarely it so happens that, okay, ladies and gentlemen, this guy has done enough bunkum. <laughs> so please, when we are here. But today we begin with the first speech of the day. The first speech is going to be given by someone who is from a very small town in UP and is an energy professional because he's into the business of lubricants and lubricants run engines which create energy. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the first speech of the day, we, we have Toastmaster Ankit, who's going to be deliver his icebreaker. But before he can deliver his speech, I would like to invite his evaluator, Toastmaster Vikas, to read out the speech objectives. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Toastmaster Ankit is going to deliver his icebreaker, which is L1, S1. It is the first speech. This is where he begins to speak. Time would be four to six minutes. All the best, Toastmaster Ankit, for your icebreaker. Toastmaster Ankit, icebreaker, icebreaker, Toastmaster Ankit, over to you. Thanks, Paul, and thanks, Toastmaster for the introduction. I will start with a good saying that ex the good decision comes from the experiences, but experience comes from bad decisions. So good afternoon all the Toastmasters. Good afternoon all the Toastmasters and the guests who are presented today. I said Ankit Agrawal. I am in sales, I am a sales professional. I Working as an area manager of, in Exxon Mobil Lubricants Private Limited. 
I am based out of Ahmedabad, looking after half of Gujarat, from Ahmedabad to South Gujarat. My hobbies, I like cooking. This habit I built in uh, Corona time, COVID time, during lockdown. Because I get time, because I was work from home. So I built that habit and you all are welcome to test my culinary skills. <laughs> and I will, I will be honored to invite you all as a guest. I also love to solve puzzles, especially of mathematics. And I love to read books in my free time. So today, before that I joined this Toastmaster because I want to improve my public communication and leadership skills. So today I'll walk you through some of the good and bad experiences of my life. As Wilba, Toastmaster Wilba mentioned, that I was born and brought up in a small town of UP called Hathras. Being the youngest in my family, I was quite protected. I always cared. My parents used to defend me. So that's why I am a little introvert and also a little shy. I, but, but I was good in studies. I was always remain in top five in my school till the time I came to know that I became the topper of my class in class fifth. Wow. But good. <laughs> but good thing always come with some bad thing also. So there, I build that habit to compete with others and always to be at the top. Throughout my school life, after then I remain at the topper of my class. Then there is a twist come in my life when I was about to enter in the college. I gave all the engineering examination, I gave IIT, I gave this Indrabas University, Delhi University, all the engineering examination. In, in, in IIT, I got positive marks. That was an achievement because none of my friends got positive marks in first time. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't clear it. I got good ranking in Indrabas University and I got government college there with CS branch. That was hot cake at that time in 2006. So I was quite happy to join that college. But when my father paid the fees of first semester and he was about to leave in the college hostel, I start feeling that loneliness. I, I, I get started feeling homesickness. And after attending two, three days of classes, I couldn't suit in my out of comfortable zone. So I quit the engineering. I came back to my hometown. Here I gave up my parents' hope also that I'll do something in my life to change their fate. But after one year, I gathered courage again and I start preparing for an MBA, for MBA exam. Because I think, I thought actually, if one failure in my life didn't decide my whole life. So I start preparation for an MBA and I gave this CAT examination in which I got good score and I got University of Petroleum Energy Studies Zeradun in MBA Oil and Gas branch that was flagship branch of that college. Vinay Tiwari, one of my friends who is presented today, is from my college. But there was one more twist that was awaiting in my life. God was kind enough that I got selected, I got job in my third semester itself in college, in Castrol India Limited, my first company. During the college time, I always used to think that I, all, I want to work near to my hometown because I was a little homesick, near to Agra or somewhere in Nadel. But destiny has their own path. I got invited by Castrol in Mumbai. I did induction for two months. After that, they put me in a very tough training for one year. They made me work in several places. I worked in Hyderabad, I worked in Vijayawada, I worked in Vishakapatnam, I worked in Chennai, in South. Then I moved to West, I worked in whole of Gujarat, I worked in Mumbai, in West. Then I shifted to East. I worked there whole of Orissa, whole of Chhattisgarh, and Kolkata in East. So that was my life-changing experience because from there I love, I learned actually to look literally any part of the country without the support of my parents, friends, or relatives. 
in my personal front i married in 2016 my wife was hr consultant in delhi but when i moved to gujarat in 2017 she left the job and then after one year we blessed with a baby girl so my family is almost complete now there are two things that i to need i need to work upon to have fast pace my career growth first of course is my introvert nature and second is my public communication skills so that's why i joined this toast master club to learn from you all and to gain some experience from all of your experiences thank you thank you Wonderful speech. Oh, what a speech for a nice speaker! And today, like Mr. Narendra Modi, even my chest has become fifty-six. Because you know, I feel happy that you know when 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 I give a speech. But when I hear speeches like this, I become more happy because it comes straight from the heart. Moving on to the next speaker. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay. So I will take. Thank you for reminding, ladies and gentlemen. Thirty seconds to you to give feedback to Toastmaster Alkit. Uh, please use your ballot box papers. Uh, timer at the end of thirty seconds. Please raise the raise the red dot. school we used to have, have this game called as fish pond yeah. all the comments used to be directed <laughs> you don't write the name of the school I mean, who has written more write you write a comment He has been a member of HCPC for a few months now, and today he is taking the first step. And remember what Neil Armstrong said: "One small step, but one giant leap for the mankind." So I would like to welcome the second speaker of the day, Toastmaster Sunil, who is taking that one small step. One request I have by all of you already made that is that whenever the, an icebreaker speech is given, request all the members to stand and applaud because that first step is the most important step. So in order, so before I can welcome Toastmaster Sunil, I would like to welcome his evaluator, Toastmaster Priyanka, to give his speech objectives. 
Hello everyone, I am Toastmaster Priyanka and I will be evaluating uh, Toastmaster Sunil's speech. He is uh, proceeding in Dynamic Leadership, Level 1, Speech 1 as Icebreaker. So um, his speech objective is to introduce himself to the um, club and uh, he will speak for 4 to 6 minutes. I hope he does well. All the best. Please do well. Uh, I am very much excited to uh, give the first uh, icebreaker, icebreaker speech today. Uh, I believe uh, miracles happen uh, in our life when we end, come up, we, we end the comfort zone. So I heard somewhere uh, there are two major fears in our life. Number one, uh, fear of death. Number two, fear of public speaking. If we, conquer, if we want to conquer both the first fear, we need to live right life. So that at the end of our life, we don't have any such fear that what will happen next after our death. So it is absolutely in heart. It's all about how we live our life right way so that we can conquer the way of our fear of death. The second is a fear, a fear of public speaking. So that is the one of the major reason to join Toastmasters. So here I am very much again excited and happy to join uh, to give uh, uh, icebreaker speech. Life begins at the end of comfort zone. I I have several uh, several experience, uh, events in our in my life where I ended uh, my comfort zone and begin. Uh, my new life. Uh, before I go into the detail, I would like to say something about my professional and family background. Uh, we have four members in our family, mother, wife, daughter, and son, and myself. My mother is from government uh, health department. She's retired from health department. Wife, she's an entrepreneur, again, an entrepreneur, and she is having her own uh, spices business. My daughter is she is in study in standard seven. Son is standard two. About myself, uh, I am management graduate from Gujarat University. I am currently working as a sales head in the ENT department with Indian multinational medical device industry since last eight years in this in, the, in this medical device industry company. And over a period of uh, my uh, journey, I came across four events where I. Uh, came out of my comfort zone and achieve better things in my life. So the first event occurred when I uh, passed uh, uh, in the year of 1993. Uh, when I completed my uh, 10th standard exam, I am basically belong to a very small uh, village and the most uh, approximate population is around 4,000 or people. Where everybody know, mostly in their, their village, everybody knows Personally, no. So uh, it, the, at that time, I was having two options to uh, on my to uh, whether to study in the same school and continue with the commerce stream or travel 40 kilometers a day and uh, join a school for science. So I opt for second option, and that was the first comfort I, uh, moment <coughs> of, in my life where I left a comfort zone and moved into to achieve something good, uh, something uh, in, uh, good in my life. So during this process, I achieved a efficient time management skill because 40 kilometers travels in a day, school, tuition classes, and also you have to be very, very particular. You have to manage your time very efficiently. So the first lesson, lesson I got is time management when I leave my first comfort zone in 1993. Second, <coughs> second time, uh, the Major breakthrough came uh, at the comfort zone I left is when I joined a medical device industry. I left a um, German medical device industry company and joined Indian medical device company. That was a one time where I established my credit, credibility in the industry. The third one here 
And the third breakthrough was in the year 2012, uh, 2014, when we left Ahmedabad to Pune. And over the period of last six years, I, I experienced uh, a good team management and team making experience with uh, with the particular, uh, with leaving that com uh, comfort zone. The fourth event came in my life in the year, last year, you know, April 2020 where my management offered me to a different role in different industry. My entire experience is in and out in orthopedic industry. So it was absolute good connect, good network in the industry. So uh, they offered me to connect, join ENT division and heading the particular. So it was again a challenge or leaving the comfort zone of uh, orthopedic business and coming out into of ENT business. So it is an opportunity, good for me to uh, living a comfort zone. That, and this is what I learned uh, when we break a comfort zone, then and then we can achieve something good in our life. It is saying if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So if we want to change, if you want to achieve something in our life, we have to do something challenging in our life. So this is the end of my first uh, breakup break up speech. Thank you very much. You being a very Thank you, Toastmaster Suman. Now, time up. Tell me, have both the speakers qualified on time? Okay, now it's the time to vote the best speaker of the day. Your options are Toastmaster Ankit and Toastmaster Sunil. You have a minute. a minute to give me your votes. Have a minute. Okay, I'm waiting. Size. I'm waiting for your prashadam. Universal. And all the franchise. Wait, wait. Second one. Second one. Second one. Votes. Votes. I feel like a minister. Exactly. Start what? I can't come. Votes. Ah. Okay, are we done with the minute to uh, those months or so much? Yeah. Okay. Just raise a red card. Okay. Wonderful. Anybody else? 
Unfortunately, the person whom he loves taking a dead act isn't present over here. But, ladies and gentlemen, let me take this opportunity to welcome the joke master of the day, Toastmaster Kushar. Before Toastmasters, I had this pronunciation problem. Pronunciation. Now I know. Whenever I used to say vibes, it came out as vibes. <laughs> <laughs> so I had this habit of moving out with friends and going places. After meeting and after uh, if, while leaving, we told them that, you know, I love being with you because of your vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are amazing and so are your <laughs> now my wife knew what's happening and she said, why don't you shut up? Shut up. I was like, if you have feelings for your friends, you should express it. My daughter also knew what is happening. And she was like, Papa, what is vibe? I was like, beta, vibe, vibe is something which excites you. And she was like, oh, you said uh, Rona uncle's vibe is amazing. I did the check. Yeah, his wife is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> now, the problem is, Ronak is no more my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> and his wife. <laughs> medicine we all know it but only problem is that doctors never be believe in this doctors in the house I doctors, al <laughs> doctors always believe that we are shown in so bad light that everything has been taken care, care by humor and not medicine so i'll be talking about medicine also medicines are of two types allopathy and ayurvedic allopathy is one which has which works instantly but has side effects ayurvedic Works for long, but no side effects. Ayurvedic is like laughing with your friends. You can talk anything without worrying about the consequences. Allopathy is having side effects. It's like laughing with your wife. Instant peace and harmony in the house. Side effects. If instead of laughing with your wife, you laugh at your <laughs> wife. <laughs> side effects are better. <laughs> Vikas is saying there is one more kind of medicine. Homeopathy. Homeopathy is like an extra marital affair. <laughs> you never know where is it going. <laughs> and similarly as homeopathy medicine. But in both the cases, little white pills are sweet for sure. Thank you. Fantastic. Woo! 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 You've been a lovely audience. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Toastmaster Kushan. That was I think you have a real chance of doing stand up in your life. As an entrepreneur, today I am you know, doing that session. And it's good that your wife understood what you meant by wives. And she didn't say husbands. <laughs> okay. So, coming to the next part of my presentation today, what are the two pillars of entrepreneurship? The first pillar is your own self-assessment. And, and that self-assessment is number one, what is that one skill you have, which is marketable? 
which you can do something to earn money second what is it that you are ready to invest when i say invest it just does not mean money it also means time it also means energy it also means emotions what is it that you are ready to invest of course there may and may not be the returns you know my sorry to interrupt but sptc is on mute yes okay guys what part did you miss one to two minute okay not an issue it was anyways of the rocker <laughs> <laughs> So what is it that you are ready to invest? How much is it that you are ready to invest? That is the third thing. Your investment plan, monetary, time-wise, energy-wise. I may have the money, I may have the time, I do not have the energy to start a gym. I may have the time to start a tech company i don't have the money you know that's how things are the fourth most important aspect of your own self assessment is what is your backup plan it's always good to be successful but there is always a chance of failure it can be because of some things which are beyond your control government regulations lockdowns pandemics it is completely beyond your control what is your backup plan and as they say a bird in hand is worth two in the bush two in the bush so these are the four most important things when you do your self assessment we will talk about the next important pillar of entrepreneurship which is the market assessment but before we do that let us all get a lot more energy flowing in us because now it's the time for an adrenaline filled session of table topics being conducted by toast master jayesh the party boy give it up for him okay mast everyone chill down then sir जी <laughs> 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 Did you see a person going out now? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Toastmaster Rana. It was not that guy, but Toastmaster Kushal. It was someone else. Okay, good night. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. How hey. Because I am pumped up because it's my birthday, but I am also pumped up because I am here for this great session as the T T M. in a cpc of 158 meeting as 
those much Ronald is just left. He, in his speech in March 14, 2020, in the international speech contest, he spoke these words, quoted by a great person. And I would like to appreciate and take a quote from Toastmaster Ankit's speech as well. The journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. And over here, in this session, we're going to take that single step, moving towards a Toastmaster's journey. Today, we had two ice-breaking speech, and it's very tough to break the ice. That is why we stand and applaud. And they have started the journey. When will you guys do it? All the guests on the online platform and out here, please take this opportunity to come here because this is the only session where you can <coughs> give a remarkable and outstanding speech for how many minutes? One to two minutes. And I would request all the guests, the members, to please use the word of the day, bunker, and the phrase of the day, off one's rocker. Off one's rocker. Because this session, we are not going to talk bunker out here. We are see a list of few topics. I'll be calling a person or a member or a guest to come here and deliver a speech for one to two minutes. First, I would request a member to come here for the benefit of the guest that how to give an impromptu speech. Why do we give him wrong speech? Anyone? To gain confidence. To gain confidence. Presence of mind. Presence of mind. Anyone else? To speak on the speed. To speak on the speed. Imitate. Think on the speed. Think on the speed. Yeah. Speak, think. Fine. To um, speak something meaningful, even if they're just speaking for one person. Yeah. You, we do not have to be bunk up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Fantastic. All these are the advantages. Even in the interview, the first, my topic will be based on an interview. So I would request a Toastmaster. Who would that be? Toastmaster Vikas, everybody! Give a round of applause. Toastmaster Vikas. I am using a 1000 rupees. And it's very expensive. You have to give me this pen, this three rupees pen, to me and sell it to me. How will you do that? You have to think on your feet right now. Toastmaster Vikas, you have to sell this pen to me. Sell this pen to me, Toastmaster Vikas. Not to me, but to your office. <laughs> Anyone else? Exactly. I know you will expect me to say something bunker, but I'm not. I'm going to speak a lot about this pain, which has got many benefits. But I would like to understand, do you guys need it? Yes, everybody would need it if this is not only a pain. It has got so many features and benefits that you would feel grateful, great that you have got this pain. It has got an inbuilt camera when you are in a meeting with someone, when you find someone who is not a good person or there is something which you have to collect from him or, or you feel that he may divert from his words, keep it with you when you go, go to meet him, when you are going to meet him. Point number one. This has also got a feature. When you just scan it over the page, it will collect all the words and you can print it from there. It has got an inbuilt scanner and printer as well. <laughs> the, the, the refill which is, it has, it has got a unique capacity. If you are stuck somewhere where you don't have any weapon to attack, if anybody has done anything to you, just take the refill out, just plant it, and the person in front of you will never forget you and you will punish it. This kind of pen, with all those features and benefits, I'm sure can help you. But yes, don't give it to anybody. Keep it with you, this is precious. Because this is only one. There is no so many kinds of this quality. Would you like to take it? Yes. yes. Please bid for it. Bid for it. 
price starts from 10,001. <laughs> 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 camera doesn't work. Sales manager, that's it. Who is okay? Now I want a guest to come. Yes, all right, fantastic. Any girl, a lady girl. So, any okay, okay. Sure. fantastic. Move your mark. Okay, the task is since from tomorrow, or the after tomorrow, we are going to start uh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> The task is marriage proposal. <laughs> you have to ask her out, and you do not have to say it. Okay? You have one minute. After that, she will green card. Then you have one minute. You have to deny why, why you do not want to accept the proposal or whatever. After one minute, you both will get 30 seconds to have an answer. What do you have to have an argument? Yeah. <laughs> so your time starts now. Well, uh, I have seen you first uh, when uh, I went to postmasters, and from then onwards, I uh, saw I saw your nature and saw your character. That's why I feel with great courage. Kalpesh. Yeah, you may unmute yourself. The topic for you is responsibilities of a leader. What are the responsibilities of a leader? Toastmaster Kalpesh. Kalpesh, we can't get 
we are not able to hear you Mr. Master Kalpesh, are you able to hear us? Yes, I can. I can. Okay, now we are able to hear you. Okay, thank you. So leadership is kind of responsibility, of course, you know, uh, and we can see many leaders who behave like uh, you know leaders, you know, they having such kind of attitudes. So they always showing such kind of attitudes where you know he think like that. I am the leader. I am the boss. But it is a wrong thing. because if you really want to become a leader then you have to behave like a team member then you can work properly so in our uh, you know in era we can see lot of leaders who behave like a not leader they behave like a friend they behave like a teammate so we can work on that way also and many leaders who like behave like boss who differently you know we can say they are very arrogant on the behavior that's why people don't like to work with them so we always you know uh, like the persons who who try to understand the responsibility of leadership and work with all people that is the requirement of each in every leadership so leadership is kind of responsibility where we have to think each and every one and work as a team that is that would be the i think that would be the leadership for us thank you and that's it Thank you very much. And we hear in the house there are many leaders. Are you? Yes, you can. Yes, yes. All of us are leaders, and we come here yeah, you to Obama improve is. the communication and leadership. Yeah. Thank you. Who is going to come next? Yes, remember. I would require a guest. I'd like to call a guest. When we say the word love, we think about two people madly in love with each other, and about the visualization, about the fantasizing, about all those things that you know, a lover would do. Is that love? A soldier's love for his country makes him a hero of the country. A man's, a small eleven-year-old boy's love for cricket made him the god of cricket. I'm talking about Sachin Tendulkar. A man fanatically in love, obsessively in love with automobiles. Created a phenomena called Fordism. I'm talking about Henry Ford. So love is the only place where you lose all your senses. We all are gifted by the five senses. You lose your sight. You lose the uh, sense of smell, touch, taste, and then what's the last one? Feel. 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 And there's another sense. You know, sixth sense. When you're madly in love, suddenly that sense starts working. Does it happen? Mm -hmm. I'm sure we all have felt it at some point of the other. You know, whenever any activity we do in a day, like right now I'm talking, I'm just thinking, I am using my hands. Not more than two senses you use at a time, maybe three. But love is the only, only feeling where you use all five senses. You enjoy the sight. You like to touch. You like to listen to the voice. You enjoy the smell, and goes without saying. You enjoy the taste. So love is an absolute feeling. Be it for a person, be it for your skin, be it for anything else. But love, an absolute feeling of love, is what creates wonders. It has the capability. You know, Dashrath uh, Maji was able to cut through a thirty feet inside a mountain and carve a lane of twenty-five feet just for his love for his wife. And that's what he says. I think it's a darling in the movie. Earlier it was the love for my wife, and now it is the love for the mountain. So love is actually. Thank you. Can I ask a question? What is love? 
I thought I went back uh, to 1998. The film, kuch kuch hota hai. Hey, <laughs> Shahrukh Khan, what did you do? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. 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 I thought you started that, but fantastic. <laughs> The table topic master signing off. How do you like the session? Was it interesting? Yeah, yeah. Great. Great. Fantastic. Thank you very much. We have votes for the best topic, table topic speaker. Your nominees are all the speakers qualified. All the seats. Thank you very much. Your nominees are Toast Master Vikas. Those master Priyanka with guest Puneet. Then we had those master Phil Page. And the last but not the least, we had the guest just free. Your votes are very, very important. And you can pass on your votes to your right. We are extreme right to those master Priyanka and collect it from us. Hello, Toastmasters. Hello, Toastmasters. And dear guests, I would request your heads to be above your chin line. <laughs> Thank you very much. I will be like this session. I am signing off as Table Topics Master and giving the stage back to the powerhouse of HCTC. Toastmaster Bilwa! Postmaster Jay, she will wind up her table topic session. Now is the time, what we call it as the breakfast of the champions. It's the time for evaluations. So, to evaluate the speeches, let me call upon the evaluators. The first evaluator for Postmaster Ankit's speech. Generally, 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 I thought I'm coming. Yeah. Okay, so let me. Okay, so let me. Okay, there's a change of plans. <laughs> As the presiding officer, I have been with Jayesh, has vetoed my thought that I call the evaluator first. But as per United Nations Security Council, <laughs> I will now start with the general evaluator. So let me call upon Toastmaster Chinar and her team for the evaluations. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Bilba. We'll now start with the evaluation of these speeches. For that, uh, let me welcome the evaluator of the speaker number one, Toastmaster Vikas, to please come and give the evaluation of the speech of Toastmaster Ankit. Good afternoon, one and all. And a special good afternoon to Toastmaster Ankit. Wonderful speech. You have begun you have begun your journey of speaking in Toastmasters. So many congratulations. On this milestone, you started your speech with a quote. It said, A good decision comes from experiences, experiences come from a bad decision. Amazing. When you start a speech with quote, it adds lots of value. People it immediately grabs the things around that will be presented to us. Talking about what went well in your speech, you talked about your hobbies, your primary skills, reading, you were put in a study board, you talked all about that. So, fourth thing, if I talk about your speech, was clarity. So, very much clear. I think each and every word was very much audible to all of us. You were very confident because you used the state area. You shown 
could be open over here that was a confident. You were very concise with whatever you presented. And fourth, he was convinced. You spoke with a lot of conviction. It was coming from your heart. How? It has went from the beginning. So, in totality, it was a very good speech. You also have demonstrated a good body language in terms of the movement of hands, movement of head, and, and the area of uh, usually area of stage here. Your voice was good. You used perfect speech and tone, which is actually the qualities of speech when it comes at higher level. Those were all inculcated in your speech. Now, talking about what could have been a bit later. Overall, you have talked about your journey, beginning from your life. It could have been in the in, in terms of transitions when you start from childhood, then you move on to your uh, adolescence, and then to your career. Why right? you started from uh, your career, and then it was like two hours, it was the same. So this could have been later. At the same time, you could, you could have also used or uh, told us a little more about your parents, about your childhood, about your family background, and everything. We could have known more about you. If you practice more of your speeches, you can overcome those grammatical and pronunciation errors. Otherwise, in totality, it was a very good speech. So, if I talk about speech in your presentation, it was appropriate. If <coughs> appropriate, you have been definitely demonstrated never say no attitude to your speech. That was M. Then you showed your kindness, and you have got you spoke with intuition. And you, it also shows your truthfulness. So that was A and A I D that thank it. And you have done well with your speech. Many congratulations. Keep doing well. And keep speaking. Well. Thank you. Master Bilwa have used one time and otherwise he was flawless. General Evaluator uh, Toastmaster Tinar 
is used one time a table topic master toast master jayesh was flawless grammarian uh, till we haven't heard the report of grammarian same for the timer about launch pad speaker toastmaster ronak he was flawless our joke master toastmaster kushal was also flawless toastmaster ankit speaker one have used one short pause otherwise he was flawless his evaluator toastmaster vikas was also flawless wow. speaker 2 has used nine times a uh, one time two times um one time two times so and one time and his evaluator toastmaster priyanka she has used nine times a uh, and one repeated word you know now about the table topics table topic master toastmaster js he was flawless table topic speaker one toastmaster vikas was also flawless table topic speaker two guest i'm not no i do not know his name but yes. he has used he has used four times a one time and and one short pause table topic speaker 3 toastmaster kalpesh has one time used so and one repeated word you know table topic speaker 4 jasprit kaur he has used repeated word you know otherwise he was flawless so most of our speakers were today flawless so kudos to all so this is from my this is my report over to you generally later thank you so much So I'll start with the report as a grammarian for today's meeting. So first, the good usages of English. I was noting down, noting down, noting down, and I had a lot of plans. <laughs> so uh, here I have here a few observation with improvements will make you successful. Acquire skill, skill, lend me your ears. Very seasoned. Journey of thousand miles starts with a small step. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Efficient time management. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Uh, some good words inculcated. Intuition, adversity, chronological, sky is the limit. These are the good usages of English. The not so good usages was I. I working. I am working. I also cared. I was being cared. I start preparation. I started preparation. That that's that's it for good usages and bad usages of English. The word of the day was used seven, eight, nine times. But uh, nine times in total. Toastmaster Dilip used it twice. Toastmaster Ramat used it twice. Toastmaster Jayesh used this used it twice. 
Toastmaster Vikas, Priyanka, and Chinna one one is there. Uh, the place of the day of one soccer, it was used time twice by Bilva, Toastmaster Bilva, and then once by Toastmaster Pranav. That's it. <laughs> Now I welcome the timer of the day, those master women to come and present her. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. So today our meeting started at uh, 037 seconds, and uh, Toastmaster Cable spoke for eight minutes uh, one second, including the evolution as well. Uh, Toastmaster Jayesh took uh, 12 minutes, 10 seconds, including the TPM session as well. And Toastmaster Bilva spoke for 17 minutes, 13 seconds. Uh, and it's still going on. Uh, Toastmaster Kinar uh, spoke for 2 minutes, 35 seconds, but it's still going on. And uh, Toastmaster Kritika spoke for 1 minute, 57 seconds. Toastmaster Gaurav spoke for two minutes almost. And Toastmaster Ankit, uh, he spoke for six minutes, 20 seconds. Toastmaster Sunil spoke for five minutes, 53 seconds. Uh, Toastmaster Kushin spoke for two minutes, 52 seconds. And for the table topic, Toastmaster Vikra spoke for one minute, 48 seconds. Uh, for the second table topic, Yes, Puneet and Priyanka, Toastmaster Priyanka, both took two minutes, 13 seconds. Mm -hmm. And uh, Toastmaster Kalpesh to, uh, spoke for one minute, 10 seconds. And guest Jaspi uh, spoke for two minutes, 13 seconds. For the general ev evaluation, uh, Toastmaster Vikas spoke for two minutes, 39 seconds. And Toastmaster Priyanka spoke for one minute, 47 seconds. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Suman. Now I present the paper, but in terms of the feedback of the As Toastmaster of the day said that breakfast will be um, of, the of the channels. Feedback will be through breakfast of the channels. So uh, the meeting started at uh, 3.07. I would like to request that since these are hybrid meetings, you require certain time to set up the technical uh, you know, equipment. So, in case if we can start a bit early, uh, so that you know we can start and we can arrange the space, we can start the meeting on time. So, that we are part of last meeting, we can start, we are starting three, four minutes late. So, let us just infiltrate this habit. The very good thing and the first thing which came to my observation when I entered this room. Was it was beautifully arranged. Though we changed the settings later on, but when anybody enters the meeting, the ballot papers were arranged on the, on the chairs and the chairs were all organized. So, a big round of applause for the Very nice arrangement of the event. Coming back to the Sergeant at Arms, the Sergeant at Arms has very nicely placed the mission and the ground rules. So we started the meeting on a right note. Coming back to the launch pad, the brief speech given by Toastmaster Donna, though he is not there, but I would like to mention that he accepted the true spirit of the scheme. This speech was truly depicting of the journey of an entrepreneur and we all wish all the very best. Coming back to the joke master of the day, Toastmaster Kushal, we love your wine. <laughs> Humorous <laughs> one. <laughs> the tag team, you all did a wonderful job. A few recommendations that I could give to the Grenadian is when you Actually, give your word of the day and the phrase of the day. You have to tell the people, you have to tell the audience that you need to clap 
after the third of the day and the beginning of the day when you did the production of your food. Otherwise, it was an impeccable job which you have done. Diamond also very good job on the first for the first four days. <laughs> Coming back to the R counter, firstly it is a commendable job of somebody taking an R counter being virtually present. So it truly sees that how, uh, you know, we are actually doing a hybrid meeting in two centers. One thing which I could give as a recommendation to the R counter is that on the roles of the grammarian and the timer, he mentioned that uh, since they have not done their roles, uh, he was unable to mention the R counter or the R's and R's. But I could say only two things that when they came to explain their role, probably then we could have noted it down. And that also stands a correction for the general evaluator. That is me that I should have called the R counter while giving the evaluation at the end at the third order. So that's something which is I need to take care of. Now coming back to the table topic master, Toastmaster Jay. Happy birthday. Thank you so much for making us happy with your table topic. It was a truly interesting session in terms of the topic and in terms of the props, in terms of the way uh, the discussions were going on. If one thing I could give as a improvement, I can say it from my end. When you explain, you explain what is table topics, you could probably give a few tips to the audience of how to handle a table topic for the benefit of the guest. Maybe you can say that, you know, once your table topic is given, don't just rush on to speak. Breathe, gather your thoughts or, you know, uh, say a story around it or something like that, which are tips for the people who are attempting the table topic so that they are encouraged to uh, attempt the table topic. So this is one thing from my end which I can do. Last but not the least, the Toastmaster of the day. Toastmaster Dilba, you were a volcano of energy when you were speaking over the <laughs> The key for today, entrepreneurship and what you conducted and said made me recall a very famous statement by Walt Disney. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. You have actually briefly explained the ingredients in your session which has taken be it the skill sets, be it the branding, be it the self-assessment or be it how do you create the backup. So these all were briefly explained in your speech. A few things I could give which can make your session look always good from good to great. A few suggestions can be uh, while you were speaking, your content had a lot of meaning for the audience to catch their attention. However, unconsciously, there were a lot of movements continuously when you were speaking. So what happens is, and this happens unconsciously. So what you can do uh, next time is you can just stand at the place, deliver your speech, then go and deliver your speech, which will make your entire session more presentable and more catchy for the audience. That's number one. Number two, which I can say is that maybe I felt that in your last session, you said I'll come back to the second pillar of the entrepreneurship, which I feel because of the paucity of time, you are unable to do it. So I'm gathering that you, will, you would have taken ahead this session and maybe you would have explained certain failure stories and how certain entrepreneurs have bounced back from their failures. Because that is what one thing is very important when you talk about entrepreneurship. So with this, I would like to rest my session over here. Thank you so much to all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your wonderful insights and your, your tactics. You have done a great job. Fabulously done. So as mentioned that this session is not over. There's still something that is remaining, but with the paucity of time, I'm not able to take it forward. Quickly, if you're the Jeffrey, I were to say that all that as an entrepreneur, apart from self-assessment, you need to do 
market assessment. Market assessment means you need to understand that the demand supply gap is what are the opportunities, what are the industries which are high in demand, low on supply, survey, identify, first to the market, and take an informed decision. That's about it. Now I would like to call upon the birthday boy, the presiding officer, president of the SEC. Very much, Toastmaster Bilba, the Toastmaster of the day. How was the session, guys? Super. We had great evaluators, great evaluation by the tag team and accompanied by the general evaluators, great speeches, and great table topic speakers rather than me. So, <laughs> before we move on to the feedback from the guests, I would request everyone to please vote for the best evaluator and the best role player. And I hope both of them qualified and mentioned in time to vote. So the best evaluator nominees are Toastmaster Vikas and Toastmaster Priyanka. You can vote for them. Yeah, I am okay. I am but look, Metro City Ban We can continue the session. We'll have a Vikrant. Can we have your mobile so that the meeting continues? Yeah, please pass it to your right. Yeah. 